A blessed Tuesday to all and happy fiesta. I would like to share a very simple, yet it takes a lot of dimensions in trying to put into perspective the feast of today and, of course, the Advent season which we have just started. And I would like to focus this reflection on a word study. In fact, it's not really just a word study because this is so revealing in what St. Paul in today's first reading is telling us that in Jesus Christ, there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. Now, what I'm, what I'm talking about here actually is the very name of the saint that we celebrate today. He is Simon Peter's brother. Okay? In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, he is just considered as second fiddle. No? Kanunay lang yun na siyang i-mention attached to the name of Peter. No? In our today's Gospel reading, we have four uh, for the first four disciples or apostles called by Jesus. And of the four, makalimtan yun o nalimtan, in other words, in the presentation of the whole of the, gospel, of the synoptic Gospels, ang kanunay nga kuyog ni Jesus is always Peter, James, and John. Now, and if, we, and if we are familiar with the, how, well, who were the first four being called, we always have the question, asa man is Andrew? No? Ganong kanunay man nga taligamaan? No? But this is not in the case of the Gospel of John. Because the Gospel of John, it was Andrew who was the first person who got to listen to Jesus. And he was, in fact, instrumental in calling Peter. And this, this is not just the only episode. Because later on, no, in the episode of the Gospel of John, Andrew is always figured out. And one significant episode there is in chapter 12 of John. When there were Greeks who wanted to talk to Jesus, who wanted an audience to Jesus, they went first to Philip, and Philip went to Andrew. Now, the reason for that is because the Greeks identified themselves with Philip and Andrew, who had Greek names. So in the list of the apostles, therefore, Andrew's name is Greek. And this uh, Greek representation is actually an affirmation of what St. Paul said in today's first reading. And in our expe ex experience as well, we are all called to be one. There is no distinction between whatever nationality we are in. So today's saint, in a very simple yet very specific and, 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 strong, and strength, uh, and, and, uh, what they call, and, and a very forceful manner, represents the unity to which we are called in serving the Lord. But then, Andrew is not just only a Greek name. He means in the Greek language, husband, somebody who takes care of the family. He's a man, he's so courageous, he's so strong, and he's even very much uh, what we call focused on things that what a man should do. And this is also the same challenge that we respond to. During the season of Advent, as we prepare ourselves to welcome the Lord as He comes into our lives and as He fulfills His promise to come again in the last day, we are called to be courageous. We are called to be men and women of strength to, for, to, to remain constant in the faith that when He comes, we are able to stand erect and face Him and, 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 and respond to the questions that He will ask us. What have we done or how have we fared in our faith life together with our brothers and sisters, regardless of our nationality or whatever conventions there is? For we are all one, and in Christ we are united. Amen.